Hello, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to record our school news broadcast. First thing you need to do is get rid of any food or garbage, drinks especially, make sure you throw them in the trash and don't take them into our room. Second, ignore the sign that says storage because this is actually our newsroom. Let's go in. First thing you want to do is turn on the lights so you can see what you're doing. After you turn on the lights, you're going to want to turn on the cameras and turn on the computer so you can get started. If you turn on the cameras, simply press the power button on both cameras. You're going to open up the computer if it is not already opened. Have the teacher log in to access our Wirecast software. If you would like to use the external monitor as a dual monitor setup, make sure the HDMI cord is plugged into the laptop and that the TV is turned on. I'm going to open up the template. This opens up the template for our news broadcast. You can see we have both camera angles set up. We have a lower third graphic. The green indicates that the video is in preview and it will switch over to the live in just a moment when you switch it over. Let's set up our title. I'm going to select the title and then I'm going to click on where it says name. Up here, I'm going to click on these three dots. If this is not shown, you can see there's two arrows here. I can click on these two arrows. That will show me the information about what is selected. I'm going to go ahead and click on my title. I'm going to give this a name. And so now I have my title set up. I check to make sure that I have both cameras visible and I have both of them visible. We want to make sure that the audio is the same from each shot. In this case, we're using a Shure digital microphone connected through USB. And you can see the USB cable is here. This connects to our Shure digital microphone. To make sure the audio is the same, in each one, I simply click on the gear. I go to change audio, and I want to make sure that Shure digital audio is selected. And if the others are selected, I deselect those so that I just hear the same audio coming in no matter which camera I have. I'm going to go ahead and clear this shot down here and I'm going to click on this layer here which is going to clear what is coming in there. If you cannot hear the audio, first of all, you can make sure that the sound is turned on or turned off. If we have the headphones unplugged, and you have the secondary monitor plugged in, chances are the sound is going through to the secondary monitor. I keep the monitor's volume down to zero so that we don't hear sound coming from here. So let me turn the volume back down. We will not hear sound unless we have our headphones plugged in and I can hear the audio is going. My cameras are both connected. I have this. I want to make sure that I also have the introduction. I'm going to click on the plus, go down and choose media file. I will find our introduction with the file selected. I can see that it is here. I ha now have my introduction that if I press spacebar, it's going to shift over and transition to my live viewing area. And notice how it automatically plays when I press this button. Now, it's going to continue to play after it's done. So it's looping. If you do not want it to loop, let me go ahead and click out of this so we don't see it anymore. I'm going to click, so it's in my preview. I click on these two chevrons or these two arrows pointing to the right. Now it gives me the option of when finished, loop, hold, or remove. Go ahead and set this to hold at the end so that it doesn't disappear too soon and that will hold the frame for the end. 
With your camera set up and white balanced and your mic tested and everything's ready to go, you can now start the news broadcast. To do that, I like to clear everything out of each of the layers. Simply press clear on all the layers, press the spacebar to transition to a clear screen. Make sure your transitions are set to cut, not smooth or any of the other transitions. This will do a hard transition from one shot to the next. You can check your cameras, make sure that they both look good, as well as make sure that they look similar in, in color. You can do this by pressing the space bar, which will then turn one camera onto your live, and you still have one camera on the preview. You can see both cameras simultaneously. So I have my camera set up, I have everything ready. If you would like to see your live video on your external monitor, Simply go up to Output, External Display Out, and choose the monitor. And now you can see whatever our live output is. To record our broadcast, we've already set up where to save the file. If you need to know how to do that, simply go up to Output, click on Output Settings, and you can choose where you would like to save the stream. We're going to go ahead and keep ours where we have it. So now we're going to go ahead to click record and then we're going to click our intro. We should have our intro in the preview ready to go. We'll click record, we will hit space bar and that will transition and play the shot from here over to our live. And then it's going to count down. When it gets down and there's five seconds left, we want to count down to our talent. So our talent will know when they need to talk. So we'll have our next shot ready. We're going to switch from this shot to this shot, and then we'll put a graphic in. We will take the graphic out. We will then switch to the other shot, and then we will end with our intro, outro video clip again. So let's go ahead and go through these steps. To do so what we're going to do is we're going to hit record, hit the space bar, which is going to start playing. We're going to queue up our next shot, and then we're going to set clear layer up here so that it turns off our intro video. To do this, we click record, we press the space bar, we cl press clear up here, we get our next shot. Notice over here there's a countdown, there's seven, six, five. We cue our talent, we then hit space bar, our talent is now on, they can continue with the shot, and what they're going to do is we want to put in a, a title, so we select our title, we go ahead and we press the space bar to transition that. We let it sit there for a moment and then we want to clear out the title. So we're going to go ahead and hit the space bar again. We're going to switch our shot. So I queue it up by clicking here. I press the space bar, it switches our shots. I'm going to queue up the end, our outro, and I'm going to clear the layer so we don't hear the audio behind uh, the person speaking uh, underneath our outro. Once they are done speaking, we're going to go ahead and press the space bar. It's going to transition to our outro, and we're going to see that it's done. As soon as our outro is finished, you're going to hit the record button, and then it will be finished. Once you have completed everything, you want to watch the video before you upload it. To watch the video, you're going to go into the folder It will be the highest number inside of the folder. You want to listen. You can put the headphones on to make sure that you can hear it and that everything is coming across well.